Debbie Johnstone is one of two central figures in Doug McCallum's public mischief trial, the other being Doug McCallum himself. Today, 66-year-old Johnstone took the stand and stared directly at McCallum as she testified. McCallum claims she ran over his foot in a Save on Foods parking lot last year. Johnstone says she was there to collect signatures for a petition in opposition to McCallum's plans for a municipal police force. She says she shouted at him to resign. He came over to her passenger window and they had a heated, profane exchange that included her calling him scaly-faced and evil. She testified he called her a loudmouth, after which she drove away, not feeling anything unusual about her car. But the Crown says McCallum later called RCMP and claimed that Johnstone hit him and he allegedly said, quote, I want to go after her. Johnstone says police told her she was being investigated for criminal harassment and assault with a weapon. Prosecutors played some of the footage from the Save on Foods parking lot to Johnstone during the trial. It appeared to show McCallum walking away after Johnstone drove away in the parking lot with no apparent sign of a limp. The Crown says the question at the heart of this trial is whether or not McCallum lied with the intent of having Johnstone charged with an offence. In cross-examination, McCallum's lawyer Richard Peck focused on Johnstone's history of attending protests in Surrey, playing her a clip of her shouting at a protest at Surrey RCMP headquarters. Peck asked about Johnstone's relationship with McCallum prior to the incident. She said she voted for him in 2018 but grew to dislike his policies and felt her voice wasn't being heard. She says she'll have more to say after the trial is over. I've been asked to respect uh, the court process, which is what I'm going to do. I've never done this before. And while I am um, able to speak right now, and I would love to tell you all my story, I am going to respect the court process and I'm going to wait until the court is finished. The scene outside the courthouse was just as colorful as inside. One person wore a monster mask and held up a sign reading, lock him up. The trial is expected to last seven days. It's unclear whether McCallum will take the stand. Eva Yuguen Senj, CBC News, Surrey.